This video is going to be a garden tour with my parents, my mom with her jokes, and my World War II Navy vet dad talking a little bit about the Navy and asking questions, and my sister and brother and their family. I make the parties here, and yesterday was my granddaughter's fifth birthday party, and so I finally got them to come out. They usually all hang out in the house and not come out to the garden, but they did yesterday. So I went ahead and videotaped it, and I thought it was so interesting with some of the questions they had and information that my brother had, then I'm going to go ahead and post it. So if you're into a tour, go ahead and watch. If not, this is the time to shut it off. And at the end, my dad and I sat down and talked about World War II and some of his stories that he had, and I'm going to put that separate, not in this one. This one's just questions that people have that when they see a garden and they really don't know anything about growing your own food. So I hope you enjoy this. And keep in mind, my garden is still in its infancy. It's only a couple years old. So this is all very new to them. And they were fascinated. So I hope you enjoy this. And don't forget to eat what you grow. And please enjoy the video. Thank you and have a great day. Is this, your mint? this is my mom and she's checking out my mint. She needs to do mint. That's my brother. And that's my wonderful daughter doing the video. The, oh this yeah, is but this is my granddaughter. Hello. She's got her own video, her own YouTube channel now. It's going to get really interesting on there. But they're checking out my garden. I'm trying to get these people to eat more greens. That down there, that is spearmint. That makes the greatest tea. Mm, it, smells, it smells great. Yeah, and this is a big no-no. People yell at me because it's not supposed to be on the ground. Wait, be careful, step. And that's my dad. Video, and they Jerry, came to visit and oh, see my garden. Navy hats. I know. My so dad is a World War II veteran. If people have questions, I'd be more than happy to do a video and have them ask questions. What, but questions on your mother and father? Yes, questions on my mother and father. We raised you very well. Good girl. They say they raised me well. If they raised me so well, how come they don't have a garden? Because we were waiting for you to grow up and plant it for us. We raised you and now you raised your there, garden. There you go. See? There you go. But um, oh, what's this? everything, that's mint, right? that's, that is spearmint. spearmint. That's Gary's yeah. favorite. I make tea out of that. Yes. And uh, I put a little bit of lemon verbena in there. Smells really good. And sometimes stevia. Mm. Smell that, Evelyn. Come on, then, Gary. That's my son-in-law. I'm not there. Gary. That's <laughs> my brother-in-law. <laughs> and my Gary. sister. <laughs> that's my sister. I'm trying Neo. to get her to eat better, too. Your mom called me Gary. Neo. <laughs> well, not that there's anything that's wrong with that. Shelf. No, my Gary. Gary's shelf. home. The first time she's done I'm it. sorry to say he's Neo. recouping. Neo. He had surgery, but he's doing good. So he's going to get back to moving those wood chips in about two weeks. No, he's yeah. going to complain for a couple months. He can't lift yeah. anything. <laughs> actually, I want him out of the house. He's actually been cleaning the house. God knows what he's doing now. I go in there and everything's moved. Everything, he's, he's stir crazy right now. There's my sister. And again, my brother-in-law. Oh, I want to go smell yeah, the mint. Go yeah, smell. Yeah, my but um, every, everything in here, surgery. almost everything is edible. Even that tree, that is moringa, and that is the healthiest tree you could possibly. Lemon moringa from? Moringa? It's a joke. Lemon meringue. Oh, <laughs> lemon meringue. No, not no. Not a good joke. Everything is edible. What about Everything. the duck? No, the you duck's duck not. duck soup? Duck's not edible. That's the ceramic. But Everything that's eggplant. Is you got celery. Then next to you. Yeah, I can see the celery. Yeah, that's celery. And then next to you, it looks like it's dead. It's actually celery seed. Oh, this? Oh. oh. Yeah, that one oh. went to seed, and that's going to fall all over, and I'm going to have celery that's growing. Stuff. Everything. That's the gonna purple stuff, I'm going to swing around, around really okay. slow. Um, Oh my gosh, I went I brain dead. Yeah, let her go. Sorrow. 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 Um, Sylvia? Sylvia? No, 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 no. I don't want it going down the hill. Watch I'm no, no. I want to Wait, see the real. Um, we have that. Stevia. That's in green. Here, the stevia is in the front yard. I have that growing on the table right now. I can move that around. But that's sorrel. That's red sorrel. And then I've got green. What do you do with this? It smells no, like this is mint. Are oh, you talking about that? I was talking about this. It's mint. Oh, this is, this is uh, spearmint. Can I take some mint to, for tea tonight? You can take all the mint you want. Just to eat. See, this is going to have to be trimmed. I can't let what it grow. Is this? Looks like cabbage. That, that is no. collar that I got at the 99 cent store. I got four little or four or five tiny little plants. They had it in a tray. And look how big it is. It's like elephant ears. I don't like it, but Gary likes it. Well, how do you eat it? What do you, you cook it? If I'm eating it, I actually put it in a green drink. 
I just blend it up. You're gonna hold her? Mm -hmm. You really are. You can eat it raw. Yeah, you can eat it raw. I don't. I don't care for it. But this Gary is, likes it. What is it again? What's it called? That's collard. Oh, just collard color. greens. I have a question back here. What are these? No, wait. Look through your camera. Okay, I don't. What are these? Tomatillos. Tomatillos. Oh. And they're growing all over. And again, most of those growing all over. I didn't even plant. Because they get into my compost, Who gets in? This is the compost, the seeds from the oh. tomatillo, and they come up, and I, I don't have the heart to take them out, so I leave them and they grow. So when you go in the house, you have to close the door so it won't get into the house. The what gets in the house? Color? She said this all, this all comes, is it all growing on its own here? It, it, it is growing. It gets into everything. No, that actually I planted. I planted the collard. The tomatillo's ready. Is this edible or is this edible? Yeah. No, but you can probably eat it anyways. Usually it's it's almost falling away from the plant when you touch it and it gets a little purplish. Try it. If you don't like purplish? it, throw it down. It. Yeah, it gets a little purplish. What it's causes it to get purplish? Uh, Anissa ate one before. What, what's eating this How plant? is she feeling now? Anissa? She's <laughs> feeling fine. <laughs> she's a oh, no, she's fine. I have mint. That's I dinosaur have... kale. Okay, I have mint. Do you like Not it? In the bathroom? That has a little, oh, little holes in it. And I can't find any bugs on it, but I found some jumping spiders. Would they oh, be eating it? Oh, jumping spiders. They look like I haven't had anything eat my no. mint. Something's eating Something's mint? Eating my chocolate mint, yeah. Well, you don't eat it. Are you it. watering it? <laughs> yeah, Rob, you don't eat your mint. You drink it, right? I drink it. You can eat it. You water anything. And this is celery seed, right? This, this is celery seed. <laughs> now, do you have dill for pickles, for pickling? My dill, see the, this plant over here? The, it's you know, that went to seed, and that's dill. Here, you didn't bite and what about that's over there? Do you don't grow cucumbers? I did grow pickles? cucumbers, but they're done. My but cucumbers are done. I don't think if they're done, how come you never offered I us know, any? I know, I know. They're done. They're they're done. <laughs> but I will get more. I'm going to get more cucumbers. The, the best sour pickles. Yes, they, Daddy made the best pickles. The stories I could tell on that. You probably don't even know the stories I could tell you on that. To put your father's pickle. Oh yeah. The dill. No, he used to take me to the pickle plant, and oh, I can remember that. My God, I must have been like. Uh, six or seven years old. Oh, 20 I used years ago. Yeah, twenty years and ago. What kind of pickles did you get? The this is big, my the big. I'm videotaping this. Yeah. The big vat. I used to get on that plank. You never felt and walk. No, and walk across. The, I mean, these they were giant barrels, and I would walk across and sit in the middle and try to reach the pickles that you were floating. All that without me knowing. I find out 20 years ago. Yeah, I know. Oh my gosh, my the God. stuff I did, I could have fallen in, and I don't even know if I could swim at that time, but I wanted did you those have pickles. you insurance on your daughter when you let her do all that? He, he wasn't around. He was doing his work, and I was trying to get pickles out of them. Remember those tanks? They were like they swimming pools. Tanks. They are. They're, they're they don't make pickles exactly. now like they, they did. 8,000 gallon. 8,000 gallon tanks. Do you know how I make pickles now? I use squash. Zucchini. Yeah, you told me that. That's, uh, yeah, it comes and then it's so and it good. And it doesn't mush up. Already. No, it's, it's so good. I should have made some now. It was so, so well, good. You know, There's Belle. Over, we'd eat it all so you didn't bother. Belle has gone through a lot. She's had chemotherapy and everything, hasn't yeah, she? This is Belle. Yeah, she, radiation. Oh, radiation. Yeah, radiation. Radiation, many surgeries. Many surgeries, this wonderful dog. And she's, she's doing good. Cost a fortune. <laughs> she's doing good. That's the main thing. That what the main thing? I got, yeah. Look what else you got done. Let's see. Let's let's swing. I'm gonna swing slowly. Like There's my brother you don't with his camera. So your dad likes chocolate. chocolate mint. There's Jerry, you that. want chocolate mint? This is a family get together. I I hope I'm not boring too many people. Trying to well, show them my. Good thing they can always shut it off. That's right. They can shut it off. They don't want to see it. I can't stop them. There's my dad. Seriously, if people want to ask my dad questions, he was in World War II as Navy vet. Yeah, Navy vet. World War II, I met him World years War later. World War II, Navy vet. And I vet. do comedy. He was a serious one, and I do all the jokes. <laughs> Anybody want a joke, just call Robbie and she'll ask there me. There must be a reason behind. Yes. That is actually, see the water fountain on the bottom? This is solar panel. So when the sun oh. comes up, the water fountain down there for the birds works, and I don't have to have it plugged in. Oh, I see. I picked that up online. It was only like 10 bucks, and it works really good during the day. What is it? Yeah, it runs the water fountain. Night? Nothing. Oh, water. Yeah, it's solar. It's solar. That one's electricity. And the birds come and take a bath. And this and I, we're, we're out here. Do I have what growing? Carrots. No. What about no carrots? No, that's the only carrot down here growing. And so I've got to change my carrots. Well, then how do you make gold soup? Cold carrots. <laughs> you had 14 carrots. Yeah, yeah, well, not from here, but I will get carrots. 
my soil is too rich, so I've got to change it a little bit. I don't see any money. I know, well, yeah. Uh, bell peppers. Yeah, we're looking at red bell pepper, Jerry. And these are sort of... Little tomatoes, right? Little green yes, tomatoes. Yes, tomatoes. Tomatoes all over. Oh, don't let Leonard forget I'm giving him zucchinis. He wanted zucchinis. Big okay, ones. Okay, everybody's a witness. How many zucchinis are we getting to take home? I have a couple left out here he can take. Okay. Look at the size of that red pepper. Yeah. Red bell pepper. Bell pepper. God, you have a great garden. Well, it's a lot of work. And we can never eat all this. It's a shame. We have so much food. Well, we donate it. I, we volunteer at the hospital. That would be something. I mean, there's just yeah, so do. much to, to... I mean, this is... Down here is oregano. Yeah. And then, of this course, celery. Oregano? This is oregano. See, now that's in a little pot, and it's kind of stunted. And then the leaves get bigger. And then I've got some out of it. If it's not in a tiny pot, the leaves will get bigger. This is oregano? That's oregano. I never saw it so round. Anissa came out here before with me and she was eating a bunch. Gail, yeah, oregano? And would you put it into what? You can put it in the soup. I put it in the eggs in the morning, fried That's eggs. That's a good idea. You can eat this Just too, but I don't think you'll like the taste of this. This is papalo. Oh, but will this grow bigger? Will it grow bigger? If you Wait. had it in a bigger pot, it's kind of stunted in there, the it's leaves will get bigger. Yeah, that one just doesn't get but bigger. the way it is, you put it Wait, into what did you say? Just cut it just the way it is. And put it into egg. I'll take some home. What? You grow eggs? I don't grow eggs yet. The problem is we got to set up something really good so the coyotes don't get into it. So eventually we'll have chickens. We used to have chickens, but we'll get chickens eventually. God, you have a great garden, really. It's all edible. That's what I'm saying. This down here, it, you, we've got orange mint. Behind you here is chocolate mint. This I love. This is called sprouting. Oh, we can't eat what it. What is it? This is sprouting broccoli. It also broccoli. looks like a cabbage leaf, doesn't you it? You can eat the leaves. Thing? Anissa and I came, hey, look, see? Anissa and I came out here. You can eat that. Boy, then when people come over, you just take them outside. You don't have to cook or bother. Yeah, there you them. go. And this Wait. and I ate the broccoli off before. You want to try it? The broccoli? No, is that broccoli? Yeah, if you don't want to eat it, I'll eat it. See? Here's more. You eat it first and see how you feel. Yeah, okay. We Let's were eating it. Thank you. Which is the broccoli? This is broccoli? And my sister will eat it. I'll eat it. And this and I were eating the broccoli before. I but how come broccoli first. doesn't look like that when you buy it? Because this is sprouting broccoli, so it's smaller. Here, do you want a piece of broccoli? It's good. Try it. It's just broccoli. What about the leaves? Yeah, but I've we never had broccoli. Ever? You don't eat broccoli? It's so then, good for you. Know what? Tell them something else. What do you no, eat? No, no, let him try it. So because what, do you, this, what do you eat, Devin? Can you eat the leaves? You can eat the leaves, everything. What leaves, you, what stem. What do you like in a green vegetable? But let's say he's what trying like? it. What do you I think? I know he likes green money. But what do you like in a green vegetable? Oh, come on. It's not that bad. Is it that bad? I'm chewing it. He doesn't like broccoli. Oh, come on. Video now. Tell the kids. Where did you get it from? Yes. Tell every, all the kids to eat it. It'll make them strong. Where is it? It's like it's broccoli. You have to look for it because I pick it all. Oh, you eat the yeah, whole thing. Go oh, wait, did you want it? No, now. it's okay. I pick it all the time. Do, what yet. about if you eat little, well, you do a lot little of work. insects in there? Does it matter? No, it doesn't little matter. Little insects are vitamins. Hey, leaf and all. I eat, I eat it all the time. I'm oh, I'm gardening. I'm How eating. How do you feel? The, yeah, I'm fine. Believe you me, I'm fine. Tree is over there with big round things. Are they grapefruit? Down, down, that's, what is that um, yellow? what is that yellow? I forgot what they call it. Pal What's that yellow over there? That's an old eggplant. That is a citrus tree. It's a palmetto. Is that oh, what you call it? Palmetto. Yeah, that's what that is. And they're not ripe yet. How about avocados? When are you going to have any? We do have avocados. They're about that big now. When can we take them? Probably a couple weeks. Can we take them now so everybody oh, you see your sherry? You want to send some to Justin? A belated birthday gift. He'd love avocados. When I have some, but I don't have any right now. No, no, no. In a couple weeks. There's the birthday girl. Let's see what else. Gonna have to fix my strawberry tower and get some more strawberries in there. Oh, there's your thing you gave me. And that's been growing strawberries all summer. That, that, oh my God. That's a lot. It is, is a that? lot. That's the, she, Rochelle gave me the. So can I look at, oh, I'm walking in front of your. No, it's fine. Go ahead. So, she brought that over. It's one of those upside down tower things you hang, but I didn't know where to put it and I just sat it. And that only has wood chips in it. So what, No soil? Grow? I didn't put any soil in there. Will anything grow? Wow. Yeah, I've been getting strawberries all summer. Strawberries growing out of there? I just full, filled it with wood chips and stuck in some strawberry plants. It's only on one side. I don't think I have strawberry plants on the other side. I didn't get, I was going to get a couple trays, a few so, more trays so I never bad. did. No, it's worked really good. I just filled it with wood chips and threw in some plants, and, and you they were from the top. 
remember these yeah, two. Look, two of them I can't get rid of them. I don't know where to. He remembers that mug. Yes, I do. I wanted it out of the house, so I stuck it in the planter. I wonder if I have this place. The soil's not very good on the side of my house. This little, but this big. I wonder if I should put wood chips in there. Take all the wood chips you want. I probably won't be happy, but I think I need to take some wood chips. Take there's some squash. Kind of yeah, chips. yeah, this came up in the compost, and all I could find is one vine running all over it, split off. So I'm not sure, but it's growing all these different squash. Yeah. And I'm, oh, there's a beautiful big one back there. I've got to cut that off. It weighs about five, six pounds. Yeah, and there's some in there. There's a white one in there, kind of. Yeah. Rob, are you growing pumpkins for Halloween? Not for Halloween. These are, I don't, these are hybrids. They were just squash that seeds I had and they came up. So, but they're good. I mean, you bake them How or. How long did it take the seed to grow like that? I'd have to go back at my old videos, but I think it, this plant's only four months old. Oh. It's not that long. It's not that old. How do you water this area? I hand water this. I come out at night and I find it relaxing and I just hand water everything. And that, I enjoy hem watering. Do I need to water every day? Probably not, but some of it are in containers. Well, that's so the I have only way you can water it, hem water. You don't use your feet. No. Oh, is that the uh, elephant? That's the elephant food all over the hillside. And it's safe. okay to eat. We actually took some I from ate... your house, and it's growing in our backyard. You actually grew What's something. What's growing in your backyard? I was afraid to eat it because I was 100% sure. Oh, no, I ate some before with the Nissa, no, but I don't like the taste of it. I wasn't 100% sure if that's what it was, but Matthew seemed to think it was. No, that is elephant food. Don't eat J-plant. J-plant is toxic. Well, It'll make you I sick. Well, how do know J-plant? It has a J on it? Yeah, it has a J so, on it. How do we know if it's a J-plant? We shouldn't eat it. It's a different plant. A complete different plant. Well, his plant. name is Jerry with a J. I'm Evelyn. I'm, I'm taking pictures. Lenita. You're yeah. taking pictures? Let's see. But this is, see, this is really a small garden. And look how much food is in here. Yeah, that is <laughs> and when you think about this, yeah, no, those are tomatillos. I think the plant is almost done. Tomatillos? Tomatillos. It's like a tomato, it's in the tomato family. But they make like salsas with them. They make them. salsas with them. And, and this ate it raw before. It's, it's different. Find one that will come off the vine easy. And when you kind of tug at it. be red? No, these don't get red. They get purple. So you have to kind of look around. Right now. <laughs> yeah, they're all <coughs> Here, let's see if this one will come off. If they kind of let loose, see, that's still hanging on. Sometimes that's a little dry. You'll have to find one that wants to come loose, and they usually get a little purplish. Yeah, Look at yeah now they're green. Yeah, they're around because Anissa grabbed one yeah, before. Yeah, they, they are round. They never grow square, do they? No, this one's not round. It's kind of like a... Well, I think something got to this because so all the leaves are gone. I also trimmed a lot of leaves off, too. There's a mushroom plant in there. Gee, it's so much. Wait, but peppers. It's so look much at green. you like you like. Watermelon. You know the watermelon split. Something split it, so I just composted it. But they say it, it never grew. It, it was really small. Watermelon water shouldn't be in a tub. But you don't and have I watermelon. Had it in tub. You have watermelon. I, no, I had some watermelon seeds come up, but I think these tubs are too small, and then it it was small and it split. Don't they say if you eat too many carrots, you turn orange? But if you eat too much green, so you turn green. No? Wait, Green with envy. No, I don't know. No, you don't. Your friend turned purple from eating grapes? Too many grapes? Yeah, too many. Then he shouldn't eat. That's what I'm Then he shouldn't mix it. No, well, your friend is, is pulling your leg. Purple grapes, huh? I shouldn't eat too many green grapes. I once heard it, though. I don't know if that's true. Nah. You couldn't eat that many grapes to turn green. No, but some people Maybe who've eaten too much carotene and they can get an orange um, tint to them, but that would be, nobody's going to eat that many carrots. Yeah. I'm going to see if there's tomatoes down there. There's got to be tomatoes. Look around the walls. Look at, look in the back wall by the, where everybody parks. But see if there's some. You can't fall down the hill. Um, well, if you try that enough. My husband never took out. Jerry, did you take out a What's big insurance on me if I walk to down the, the hill? To the top I don't the have, top. do I have enough? Okay. Gary planted something that's called a purple yam or a purple yubi. If you turn around behind you, here's one of the plants. This one came up in my compost. This one, this actually grew just from the skin because he all. Wait, what is that? What is that? Yeah, he peeled them and he cooked them, and he never thought that we never thought they'd grow from the skin because we were told they could not. It's a yam, not a sweet potato. It's Which like, one? But it's got big tubers. It's a tuber, exactly. If you don't pull it out, like he's going to have tons of them, it won't die. But it'll continue to get bigger. You can pull them out. They can be 20, 30 pounds. Really? In their native country, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What it's can you pull out? Here? 
Okay, I. When it gets big enough, you what? Eat the roots. what has to get big you enough? eat the root. Think of it as a potato getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Yeah. But the only thing is, like a white potato, you have to cook it. And then what they do, a lot of different countries, is they make. I think they cook it and they make it into a powder and then they can store it and put it in their cakes and end up with these beautiful purple cakes. But Gary likes it. It's like mashed potatoes yeah, exactly. and they're purple. He never made them for you yet. Oh, he's I made him here. So I guess it's like a squash. It's like, no, it's like no, a like no potato. it's like a white potato. Think of a white potato, but purple. Because you wouldn't think of a sweet potato because it doesn't have that sweet of a taste, really. Where's Devin? I see that tree. Down down oh, he's, Devin is down there looking for tomatoes. Oh, no, right. That tree is waving. Yeah, is he? Devin, he must be. Oh, there might be. He might be looking for tomatoes over there yeah. behind the wall. Yeah. There's he stuff. Come up. I need. Um, I need to. Uh, there will be yelling, but I'm going to take some wood chips. Only because. Nothing, take all the wood chips you I want. Know. How much you can take? And you, Do you have a plastic bag. For yeah, me? I can get a trash bag and just fill it up. If you want with worms, I'll show you where no. to get. No worms. You don't want worms. There's my compost down there. That one I put a cage over. Cause shame on me. There's chicken bones in there. So I put a cage over it so the rats won't get it. This one, there's no bones in there. I don't know, but I mean, what I never. What's with the orange flowers? I have worms. I have black beetles that are like a quarter yeah, of an inch black back. beetles. Anything is life. It's yeah, know, What are you looking at? The oh, no, that's just an old honeysuckle down there. But you don't eat that. I, you can suck on the flowers, actually, but no. Just something Gary planted years ago. I think it was growing in their front yard. The honeysuckle, and he brought it over here, and the thing took off and got corn big. Cobs in there, and, oh, no, I flew away. I threw corn cobs in there, and they're finally disintegrating. It took forever. I shoved them down deep, and it snapped right off. So now it's is that eggshells? That's eggshells in there. It's not it, going to grow any chickens or anything. No. <laughs> you know, everything will break down in the compost. I had like some big pieces of wood like from the outside and I was going to take it out I started taking it out of the compost I just laid it in there and it crumbled in my hands Why so I left it would I have growing down there money no. trees yeah I mean like why my brother going your brother's down? down there looking for tomatoes Why? because he likes tomatoes do you eat tomatoes you do eat tomatoes I know a lot of my a tomatoes are still green I got you don't get ants around here huh oh, oh yeah we got ants we got ants I don't have nest. an ant. I went home and I had ants all over. On what plant? The mint plant you gave me. There were ant, an ant nest in there? It's something. All I know is I took, I took, I took, uh, there was a couple slices of pizza. They went right to the pizza in the back trunk. And I had ants in my car. Finally, they all. No, they all, Jerry, this tastes good. This is what again? That's, what is that? I think she's eating broccoli. Yeah. Broccoli? The leaf? Look yeah. Like the cabbage I eat the leaves. I start eating it. Yeah, they, broccoli they, leaves. I eat a lot of that. the broccoli leaf is the most healthiest of the, of the whole thing, but yet I tear those off and throw them away. Yeah, but see, ours are growing yeah, in the ground. It's pulling all the vitamins. I eat that. I eat it all the time. Broccoli. Yeah, you have a lot of but celery. But you bro. cut it up in little pieces. Yeah, and this scrambled eggs. celery comes up everywhere because the seed is so fine. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if I can see any here, but it's just... Yeah, it almost looks like dill. A dill seed, I guess. See, it's so fine. What is that, a celery seed? It's celery seed, and then it will just drop on the ground, and it will come up and everything. I mean, all I have to do is pull it out, but I don't have the heart when it starts growing to a beautiful plant, so I end up leaving it. She's getting cold. Are you cold? No, she's not cold. She's just looking around. You like broccoli? You do? Come here. Let's go look over here. See if you like this. Let me see if I can find the broccoli. Because we, we attacked this earlier and pulled all the little broccoli heads off. Oh, here's, here's a tiny little broccoli head. See if you yeah, like I'm that. I'm going to take some of this home. I'm eating it. Cut it up and put you it in You can take it. all you want. Go ahead. Try it and tell why me what. Was a little ant, why was a little ant so confused? Because all his ants were uncles. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Is that good? I do joke. She likes them. broccoli. I like it I like it raw and straight off the plant. Yes? Do you have a lime tree? A what? No, I do not have a lime tree. Wait, why? What's this? Those are, you're picking um, tangerines. Uh, These are tangerines. Or mandarins. There might be mandarins. Like, so we need to come back. Something yes. so dark green that it looked like a lime. No, we don't have, those are, there's an orange tree down there, a mandarin tree down there. I have a joke for mommy. All right, tell me jokes. I use that at the senior center for my okay. senior, my deaf friends and my senior friends. 
I how, exactly. how did you, there's my husband. I said that you were recouping. I didn't say from what, from surgery, but he's doing better. Wave to everybody. See, this, this is He'll be moving wood chips soon. I got to get him out of the house. Yeah, he's cleaning the house. Long. I go it's outside to do stuff. I come back and I've got everything moved. Tables cleared. We don't need this stuff, he says. We don't need this stuff. I got to get him out of the house. He's got to get out quick. Well, he, the only time he goes out when he sees you have a lot of work to do. Yeah. That's, like my, that's like my husband. Okay. He comes out when, when I have a house full of work and he comes back when, when you, is his dinner ready. The, uh, the avocados, I'm thinking next, well, they're not done. They're, they're this, a little smaller than a baseball, but they're getting there now. So we should have a lot of avocados. You had a joke. Oh, I had a bad joke. Okay, tell Where me. were you going to tell the joke? Okay. It's a, it's a, it's a senior joke. My mother it's needs senior, jokes. I, I tell the senior jokes to my senior okay. friends. And I, so I'm a VA hospital. I'm going to get over volunteer. here. So, so, what, so <laughs> that would tell your joke. very good joke. But, yeah. okay. So how did the astronaut pay for his coffee? Depends where he drank, where, where he went to drink the coffee, huh? With Starbucks. With Starbucks. Starbucks. <laughs> so you were ruining my punchline. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry. Devin, Devin doesn't like broccoli, but Linnea does. Yeah, this is good. Yeah. Did you? I can tell you a joke, but I don't want to. Go ahead. You can videotape it, but don't put it on YouTube. I have a long joke. Are you still videotaping? Oh, sorry. Are you ready for a long joke that your father likes? Uh oh. Well. Uh, you want that, or you think it's going to ruin your? Uh, I don't know. Your, your video. Well, my husband likes this one. He's sending off somewhere. This elderly lady was arrested, and she had to go in front of the judge in court. She, her whole her husband, the old man, comes with her. And the judge says to the early lady, come up, I want to talk to you. Why are you here in court? What did you do? She says, well, I was in the market and I stole a can of peaches. So the judge says to her, why would you steal a can of peaches? She says, well, I was very hungry. I'm sorry. So the judge says, well, I don't know what I'm going to do with you. And he's thinking, as well, how many peaches were in the can? And she says, three. So he says, three peaches? How about I'll give you three days in jail? And her husband, the old man, got so excited sitting in the front row. Your Honor, wait a minute. Can I come up and say something? He says, yes. What do you want to say about your wife? She also stole a can of peas. <laughs> a lot in there. A lot of <laughs> I hope, well, I'm going home soon. Robbie won't see me for a week. I'm far away. <laughs> so I won't get on her nerves, let her go on with her garden. Gary, Rochelle wants a bag of wood chips, so I'll have to go get her some wood I chips. Got yeah. okay, he got a joke. Go ahead. Well, it's not really funny. <laughs> then we won't laugh. Go ahead. <laughs> what did Zelda say to his friend trying to open the door? What did Zelda say to his friend who was trying to open up the door? Who was Zelda? Uh, he's like a video game hero. A video game hero? I, I don't think she would know. Neither do I even. <laughs> So I, what did I, Zelda I say? He said, try force. <laughs> <laughs> that must mean a lot to certain people. <laughs> did you say you had another question? Oh, I was wondering what... There's a, a bush that we were looking at. Oh. Which one is it an edible bush? If I knew this was going on so long, I would have put makeup on. <laughs> this one. I do the same. I don't I put makeup on or anything. I, I've done it in yard clothes most of the time. Okay, so what is this one? Oh, it nice. looks like there's something growing on That's it. That's figs. I was, I was. A, are you telling me you don't know what a fig tree is? She she said that you he, grew up next it. door and never I had fig trees. You reminded me of figs, but I didn't think. I thought uh, the tree. You would sit under the tree. These are big, that tree that you're looking at is only a year old. Oh, okay, I told him that you and your friend yeah. Tina the, in fact, there were four. Sit under the tree and eat. Figs. Right, Tina and I would eat figs and then we throw the skins all over and then we get in big trouble and have to go back and clean them up because so we made a mess. What about going to the bathroom? I don't know. I never bothered hey, me. Did you hear I didn't have any problems with figs. Hey, did you hear about the? Uh, the constipated mathematician, he worked out his problem with a number two pencil. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Sorry. Okay, I have another one. Oh, what this... kind of a man well, These people don't eat ve their veggies. No. Leonard. What? Rochelle, what kind of a man never worked a day in his life? A woman. <laughs> a night watchman. A night watchman. A woman. <laughs> Marrying a rich woman. <laughs> oh, my gosh. A night watchman. 
much. Now back to your garden. I, I, I don't want jokes right now. No, that's well, about it. That's home, so we won't interrupt kale? your garden. Is that, that is curly kale. I think it's what happened was it started to go to seed, and when it goes to seed, the leaves get really tiny because it puts all its energy in the producing seed. But now that all the seed has been taken off, yeah. see the leaves are starting to get bigger. It's the oh, same yeah. plant. See if you look down there. Do? The, uh, the edge shells. Matthew put some. Yeah, calcium, Matthew put some in it. Yeah, it, 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 slowly, it's a slow release of calcium. It disappears. It breaks down. It's, this it isn't ready. I never I'm not ready to plant in that. I would put something on top of all that. Oh, this is just compost? Yeah. This is right now is just exit. compost. That's one you made on YouTube, right? That one? Um, I actually made this one, and then I threw some more on top. I do want to make another video on that because it was a really fast video, and I want people to know... That, um, you put newspaper? You put newspaper. I put it. shredded paper. You can use any what? shredded. You can what use language? newspaper, what toilet paper. What shredded paper? Shredded it seven it times or what language? I watched the video. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. Shredded paper, um, compost, I mean, kitchen, but, kitchen scrap. But you can continue to fill it all the way to the top. And then as you what? water it, it reduces down. And then when you're ready, I mean, you can be composting all the time. Wait, so it's just garbage. And when you're ready, when do you put dirt in it? Um, when you're, when I put something in, you can put it in any time. I could sprinkle in right now plain old soil, like native soil, like this garbage down here, which is clay. You can just sprinkle that in. You know what it is? I, I haven't really looked it up, done any research. This is my belief, and I don't know if it's for real. I believe that almost all soil, this is my belief, has some sort of earthworm eggs in it because I have taken dried soil in areas that nothing is growing and toss it in there and all of a sudden, within weeks, you'll have baby tiny earthworms all over in there. And I don't know, but it works. So I believe eggs must last for years and years and years. And then like the locusts are in the ground for 16 years. Well, that I don't know. I think he's trying to pick Can a fig tree, but he's, on your nose? he's going, you probably do, but he's, yeah. he's going to yeah. knock my, I don't know. I think you Devin, you're going to knock my tree down. Enough. You know, you can pick it from the top instead of down there. Uh, <laughs> is that? No, it's just a raven. Yeah, that's a raven. But, um, I don't know. I just go around and I... There's that's one way. I will go and pick up some of the clay around here and just put in some shovelfuls, and then it will just be full of earthworms. The other thing I think I showed you is it's probably getting dark now, too dark to show. When I take like this has got walking onion in it, and there won't be anything in it. Ants, a couple ants. Yeah, but with I if I would sit this right here on the ground and just leave it there, mm -hmm. that plant will end up within a week full of earthworms because they'll come they'll gravitate to the damp pot and they'll go inside the pot so I keep a lot of pots around and then when I want earthworms I just move the pot I literally lift the pot up and I'll just put it in there and I'll end up with earthworms in there that's the way I really do it mm -hmm. when we but, were driving up the hill there was a tree down the street that looked almost like pomegranates probably was oh really Oh, down the street by the mail. Yes, that's pomegranate. There's a lot of pomegranate trees growing all over oh, really? here. Because there were some hanging out. I said, I think you know. they're pomegranates. Yeah, they they're growing all over in this area. All over, but see, even in here, this is these have all been composted, and there's very little growing in there. They're actually still growing in pots, but their their feeder roots will go through the pots, and then get into the compost. I wasn't sure what I wanted to plant in there. This came up. I didn't plant this. This is a, um, it was in the compost. It must be a cantaloupe. Oh, there's a cantaloupe there. Yeah. There's yeah, a cantaloupe I saw a little there. cantaloupe show up. So whether it'll make it or not, we'll see. That one came up in the compost. But like the lemon verbena, I've got some mushroom plant in there. They're all, they're all in pots. Hmm. They were real tiny when I put them in there too. Even this thing's in a pot, I believe. Yeah, this came up. What's good to grow in the winter? Here in Southern California. You can try all kinds of stuff. Um, tomatoes, it may not get warm enough, so you may end up losing the tomatoes. But um, any of your greens, your collards, your kale, your Swiss chard, your, your mint. Um, gosh, I mean, I don't know. The celery's coming up. It's my been mint, cool. Something's eating my mint. I don't know what would eat mint. I'm yeah, not I've saying it won't. I've spiders on them. They look like... They're well, kind of striped. I guess I've got a hole in here. They're kind of striped. 
there are these little things, and they look like spiders, but they oh, jump. Hey, I just realized. Do you know what those are? No. Yeah, no, I have Gary, too, but I don't know. Rochelle what wants to know what would be eating our mint. Are there bugs that eat mint? I mean, I just found a hole in my mint. I, I, I just she said something's eating mint, and I've never. It's usually the opposite. You plant mint when you don't want something to come because they don't like mint. Probably the smell. They. It's found, just not something that Gary, most bugs like. I found Gary's doppelganger. I found your doppelganger. Someone that looks like you. Look. Do you recognize this guy? Who is it? It's Gary. Do you know who that is? No. Yeah. It's the guy that's in charge of the. Um, Electric company in Florida, oh. because he was being interviewed. And I'm like, oh my god, and you thought it like was Gary. Gary. <laughs> Let's see what else can. We're pretty much going to wrap this up. I've already bored well, look what anybody I in trying. My backyard. Yeah. I don't want this on tape. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, you found the possum in your yard? You didn't hear about Deborah's story of the possum. No. Oh my God! She calls at Donald and she goes. She was screaming. She this was this was like two weeks ago. Yeah, she calls up Donald. There's a possum in the yard. The dogs are after a possum. What do I do with it? And he goes, leave it. Let the dogs kill it. I don't care. He was at work. So she said, no, 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 I can't do that. Then she goes out there and it's just laying there and it's kind of wet from the dogs touching it. And she calls him back. She said, all of a sudden she saw it move. She calls him back. It's alive. What do I do with it? And he said, just leave it. I'm not coming home from work. I'm not doing anything. Yeah. So she goes out there and she doesn't know what to do. And it's, it's just laying there. She shovels it up. She throws it in Craig's yard. That's her neighbor. And the thing took off and ran off. It was playing dead. Yeah, possum. Yeah. It was was one, I just showed him a picture of the possum. It was playing dead. And it took off and ran. As soon as she shoveled it up, it turned around, looked at her, and ran. Mm -hmm. Isn't that one funny? One time I went to scoop one up, and he got up and walked away. Well, that's the, the term. It knew because of the dogs in yeah, the yard. It played dead. It played dead. And that's exactly. why it wasn't any blood on it. There was nothing ice cream. It wasn't in Craig's yard. Oh, you just, found broccoli. Yeah. Lania loves I broccoli. I got, talk, I got tired of talking so much. Oh, there's more back there. See, know. who wants broccoli? Rochelle, do you want broccoli? Sure. Can you, can you, you can't reach it. Walked away. Oh, that's good. At least, it, at least your dog. Let's see if I can do this without falling it's over on my it. camera. It's just like, I'm <laughs> dead. Oh, like that's all I did. That's the word. I'm going to snap the whole head off. Like but this is sprouting broccoli, it's Rochelle. What it means. I'm looking to see if I took a picture like of my plant. Sorry, everybody. And that's what they, there's always fake dead. Look at that. And can I plant it or eat it? No, you can, I wouldn't plant it. I would eat it. Look. And what about the flowers? Don't worry about it. You can eat the flowers, Should too. Should I cook it? She likes broccoli. You want a piece of broccoli? Should I cook it? Yeah, I don't like broccoli. I like it raw. Eat it raw? Eat it raw? raw would be healthier. I mean, you and can... And you don't put pesticides on any of your stuff. We have no pesticides. How do you, what do you do to get rid of she the She has no pesticides, but everybody comes over as a pest. Robbie, with all the talking, I got hungry. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. Cooked in cheese. <laughs> yeah, we yeah, that he's we got the when you and I went to that bead show a few yeah, years ago. Should I give her this? Or do you yeah, want? you can give her a piece. Break off some pieces. Eat all you want. How much do you want? Um, when you and I went to that bead show on my birthday, remember I told you I was going to stop at a thrift store and I got my first water fountain. Her husband at the thrift store was dragging it out of the car. I said, I want it. His truck. I want it. I want it. So I don't even know if it works or anything. I don't care how much you want. So you wanted fifteen dollars. I think it was. He's just Wait, <laughs> No, no, no. Oh, she, right. Her husband bought it probably at a yard sale. They have a thrift store in town. And he was taking it out of the truck. So he wanted like $15. So I bought it on my birthday. That's the one with the ball and the hummingbirds oh, lay on it in the morning. Oh, my gosh. And, and they the take bees. baths. Is this right here? No, this one I bought, I think, a year later. Also from her. And I think $25. That's not solar. That is electricity. Where do you have power? It's running underneath. Gary hooked it up. Okay. What is it, a garden hose? No, this is this is for the back part of the what yard. Is this over here? That's chocolate mint. Oh. I wish that would take off like the orange, but it's like teeny leaves. It doesn't want to grow. How come you But don't... I think my soil's not good. Is it in the ground or in a pot still? In a pot. But... Well, it probably is root bound now. They get root bound really fast. They develop so many what does roots. That mean? Well, it'll start going in circles. If you look inside, it's, it's really I tight to inside. Uh, it's in a pot about this big. It can't be the soil because, to be honest, this stuff will grow anywhere, and it grows right on the wood chips. I planted in wood chips without any soil, and stuff grows. 
But I thought, I thought I heard that mint will take over the whole area. And I have a zucchini plant growing, which no zucchini seem to grow. It flowers, and there's like a little zucchini, and then it disappears. I will tell you how to make that zucchini plant grow. Are you close with your neighbors? No, you know you know what you do? I, the exactly. best fertilizer in the world for the plant, I just did it, and that's why everything's so green, is you go through your yard and you collect all the leaves, any leaves. I don't care if it's yellowing leaves, brown leaves, and you put it in a big bucket. When you're done going through with it, you fill it with water and you let it sit, and it will rot. You want to bring mosquitoes? I haven't had a mosquito problem, but you know what? Stick a screen on top. Okay. She's getting and, all the attention. Wait a minute. She's trying to get in the house. And, oh. Wait. What is that here? No, she wants to go in. Okay. And so you let it rot. Within five or six days, it starts to stink, gets right, sludgy. The, uh, the leaves will rot in the, water. Rot. In the water. water. They'll rot. Yeah. You put that half and half or even just a few cupfuls with a gallon of water, and you water the plants, and they love it. Yeah. And then I take the sludge on the bottom because it rots away and I just dump it in my compost. How about coffee grounds? Is that good? Not in the water. In the water you want to use the leaves. It's going to no, just... I mean coffee grounds in general mixing with wait, the compost. Ants. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, okay. Coffee grounds are good? Wait, I thought it coffee... ants. Thought, it doesn't keep away anything. Mean, I don't know what I this ant... maybe it makes the soil too acidic. No, it's fine. Coffee ground. It'll all break down. Do you know where I got a big bag of coffee grounds from? Can you from? help? How do you open this, please? Do you know where I got big bags of coffee grounds from? McDonald's. I heard you can go to a lot of restaurants and ask them yeah. and they will give it to you. Yeah. McDonald's had it as you walked out, big bags of the stuff. I'm like, what For that? free? Yeah, and Wilshire McDonald's, Wilshire and Fair uh, Wilshire and Crescent Heights. So you just gave that away online, you're not gonna get any left. Well I didn't I went there and I said to the guy, What's with the coffee on? She said, Yeah, we're doing something new. Take whatever you want. So I took two bags. Big, wow. Big bags, big full bags of coffee. That is super cool. But that, that is the only McDonald's I've ever seen that's dead. It is. It was just that one. Maybe you got to call up your local McDonald's and say, hey, hey, I want to, you know, start. That this. is so good because it breaks down in the compost. You don't have to worry about anything. Yeah. It just all breaks down and the plants love I, it. I've been drying mine out and then throwing no, it No, 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 no. You're, you're making the holes in your compost. I put holes, but I, if you look on my compost bins, I don't put holes on the very bottom so it's always damp so if I don't water uh, it, 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 it's like a wicking do doesn't see? matter as long as it will drain you don't want it to fill with water you have to have a, a measuring tape no I don't you measure the holes? Did you have to drill? Gary drilled those it's actually smart because especially if I do it I have on concrete I don't have to worry about the concrete staining from it coming out to the bottom I mean mine dries naturally it still stays moist but I have boy I have beetles and and uh, I have a lot of good worms. Mine is, but everything dies that I. I have just really no, you're just looking beetles in there. Even emerald beetles and oh, like the emerald, oh the what do you call uh, big ones? What are those? The, yeah, groom. Do you know the grubs are wonderful? They break things down. The grubs are the grubs, awful. They're scary looking. What are they looking. called? Don't bend down, Gary. Gary what are they called? Green fruit bites. Green fruit? Rob, really? I thought they were emerald. No. I didn't hear like the name of the every plant. Oh my god! Because you find one. Look at that. Everywhere. Oh my god! That's so, what they turn into. Uh, that's the larvae. Oh, I want to take a picture of that. Wait, and you know what? That's what the coyotes eat. Oh, and the and skunk the that they have to walk around yeah. that's now living here. Oh my god! I did not know the skunk that, was. That must be. I must have is, a few of those. In that mine. is a that is a prime composter because if you think of an earthworm, yeah, they're kind of thin and slender. These can eat. Bigger chunks of oh stuff. That's why the skunk that is. comes out to be those big bright green things. Yeah. I thought you almost stepped on over there. Or... What do you call it? A fruit? I thought it was an emerald beetle. No, green fruit. Green oh, fruit beetle. Green, 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 green fruit beetle. Green. Fruit and you know fruit what? Beetle? Last year we had a major oh, problem like, of them like, eating all our yeah. figs. Yeah. Oh my God. They're all over in the compost that he put here. But you know they were eating the figs, the fruit beetles. Yeah. And this is the funniest thing we found out, and we Gary wants to make a full video on it, uh -huh. because we've got pictures. We didn't know this. I don't know if anybody knows this. The fruit beetles prefer over fruit pollen. And the pollen that they prefer are the uh, flat flowers, like um, the celery. Oh, really? They will sit and eat the celery flowers. We've got it videotaped. And they will go right next what? to the what fruit. Will sit and eat? The the uh, the green fruit beetles, they will eat the pollen off the celery, which we have millions of celery here, plants growing here. They'll eat the flowers. Yeah, 
Where? That's wood chips. Oh, oh, oh all broken down. Yep. Uh, you yep. know, maybe I should. And they won't touch later. the fruit. You, they won't. They haven't touched any of the fruit this year. All they want are all the celery plants, the flowers. Now, now it's gone the seed. But they were eating the pollen. The, there's like a yellow, dusty pollen. They were sitting there. We were watching them with their Is mouths. Which one? The, the big beetles. The big fruit beetles. Yeah. Really? Wow. See, so they're eating the fruit because. You, in normal neighborhoods, they don't have anything to eat. Yeah. You know, no one but, grows flowers. But you're not in a normal area. <laughs> in, you said normal. Normal. Um, any, anywhere <laughs> where... He's not in a jokey mood. He just had surgery. I'll eat the flowers or the pollen yeah. over the fruit. The fruit's just like the last resort, something right. that they... Need, so then, you know. then, then they grow. They get bigger, don't they? After yeah, they eat they're all your huge. Food. These things are huge. Oh yeah. I don't like them because they buzz around like they, bumblebees yeah. and they chase me. Yeah. <laughs> well, they can, I had one and this had told me the story that her girlfriend it? had one stuck in her hair. That's all I needed I to know. hear. They, they sound very sinister. People, and scary no, people want to know why I will do. Parts are too small to buy. I don't care. I don't want them stuck in my hair. Stuck like a big swell. Now I'll I'll step on snakes out here and I'll move them out of the way, but you know, but they're not going to get stuck. On me. If they get yeah. stuck in your hair, then you don't need a bobby. Oh hair. no, I don't even want to. No, be careful with the door. Yeah, I know. No, I don't. I don't like them, but he loves them because of the grubs. They're breaking down the wood chips, and that's yeah. what brings in. Unfortunately, the coyotes not into this part of the garden though. But they eat it. But Gary hasn't seen the skunk yet. But we have that skunk that's living here now. Uh -huh. When you all you walked in, that's what it. he's coming in here at night. He digs he these little the holes and he's eating the grubs. Yeah, he's been digging holes all over. It's a baby skunk. Probably one of them that Gary released in one of his last videos. But doesn't it smell up your plants? No. As long as they don't. No, if they don't spray, they're fine. They just don't. You said they don't yeah. like. And like they dogs. they haven't done any damage. The ones I don't like is sometimes the rats come in and they'll pull a, a green tomato off and it's like, ooh, this doesn't taste good, and they'll throw it down. Mm. And they're choking. Huh? Said, uh, wait, um, get rid of it for you. Wait, can you pause it for a second? Yeah. No. Oh, why? Because you'll wait. Because <laughs> I what? You're, I'm not going to shut it off again. I had it go off before because my... So it's not the battery, it's the camera going off? I don't know. Mine always... Yeah, it's not the battery. I, well, the battery was low, so I switched back. a certain heating point and then it just I'm has just to shut down. Mm. It gets tired. No, I was going to say... Yeah, you but should, you, should you should grab you a should, plant. Oh, you don't want plant. Take, take all you questions. want. I took a one like this. All right, plant. you just but drop some. Robbie, you should but ask a couple Navy questions. Just like say, you know, have them sit down. Who? Yeah, ask Jerry a couple questions about the Navy. Well, you ask him what questions. Sit down I think and we'll... the people are getting bored from you, you realize it's almost an hour. Oh, my God. <laughs> but don't keep... Right here from your parts. No, 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 no. I don't. That's, that, this is uh, fine. You didn't ruin your uh, garden talking. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, you have any more jokes? No. So what should we ask about the Navy? We already talked about the pickle plant. The World War II Navy Did man. Did he ever tell you the story about... Today? I don't know. Right Jerry. Close your mouth. You're on video. Jerry. Uh, oh wait, he need, um, tell him when you're in Liberty with the with the selling of the newspaper. Well, oh, I found it trouble much. I don't you think you told her to the world. This is going to the whole world. Oh, Daddy, I hope they don't shut it off. Wait, wait, they're talking, Rochelle. I know. What? You gotta give him some pictures. Close, close That's close chocolate. Do a separate video. Why don't you give your hat? At least it keeps it warm. Keeps your head warm, but you don't have your navy hat on. He needs no, some, it went with the wrong. He needs some fix it in. Close your mouth for two minutes. How does he talk with? Uh, what did you want to ask him? You were asking. Oh no, no. There is uh, when he was on Liberty. All right, uh, do it for the next one. They must be bored already. Say the, the Navy if they want it, they'll let you know. When I was on when Liberty. When he was in the Navy. Okay, when you were on Liberty.